up and heave in. Just completely, utterly in awe here. That is complete scandal. That is right out of this world. Very clever play yeah, from Waters. We, we saw that was a good finish by Waters, but again, and out, ten, the shot six, in from Shabini on the forehand. So loose. Very rarely see that from Shabini. 11 6. Game to Waters. Well, there Waters you go. One game the first game lock. by Alison Waters. Court not wide enough. Waters tries to stay so far up the court, doesn't she? There were some tough rallies in that first game. All builds up, doesn't it? it accumulates. Make it two. Left side. Eight six. Absolute bread and butter for Shabini. This is tough. Oh, well played. What a rally. Crowd certainly appreciating that one. by Alison Waters. That's a great shot. Three, four. Again, Waters doing so well to withstand these sort of surges from... Waters is a warrior and a battler, and she's showing exactly that in that rally. And out. So game balls for Shabini. Well, the error for Waters. For Shabini, two games old. Perfect shot from Shabini. Nine, four. Down. Oh, what a match. Five. She's done it. The Warrior That's Princess Shabini. has come Three through. Ty about to get out of the way there, take evasive action. Absolutely thundering that forehand drive through. It's working well on this court. When players drive the ball extra hard into the back. Much better from Massaro. Oh. oh, 
Oh, well, what a reach. I can't believe Altair went cross-court there, but then that outstretched arm from Masaro was... I mean, that's just a great reaction shot. Game ball now for Masaro. Well, there you go, what a finish. That's a confident finish from Masaro. Could be it. Oh, <laughs> what, what a shot! <laughs> Tyab looks very tired on there. She looks out on her feet now a bit. Six, ten, match four. There you go, that's, that's the finish. Impressive performance from the defending champion. Well, that's good. Response important for where's that gone? Oh yeah, it was out of the out of the court. Oh, what a finish! What a finish that is by Camille Sir. Sir, Sir one game to low. Too big a guess, Hello. too early there. Hand out. Seven, five. Game to Evans. Well, very determined game look game from Tesney Evans as she comes off the court. I definitely thought it was down in real time, but it's almost harder to see, I find, on the replay sometimes. When it's slowed down, yeah, yeah. because you don't actually see the deviation as clear. Wow, what a shot that is. And out. That one was perfect. Four, three. Absolutely perfect. Brilliant finish from Camille Serb. Another big rally between these. Hand out, seven all. What a finish! 11, 7, to Evans. Evans How determined does Tessie Evans look? She believes she can win this. She really does not care that she's never beaten Camille Sir. She is there and she wants the scalp. Tournament now. Yeah. I mean, look, it's just brilliant. It's just brilliant, entertaining squash. I mean, that is another top-rate rally between two world-class players. Hand out, five all. Wow. Camille Serm used all of her physicality and strength to stay in that rally. I thought she was down and out, to be honest. What you need is, like, in cricket, you need hotspot. There you go, that one was out. 11-9, A delayed yell from Camille Serm.
a bit of a guess there by Evans, which is never a good sign. Yeah, brilliantly finished. That ball stayed so short. Well, there she's done it. What a match. Both players should take a bow. That was a great match. So entertaining for a full house here at the British Open. 11-9, That was so good. Well, the error, there's too many errors from Perry. Needs to cut that out. If you get it slightly wrong. Oh, especially playing like this. She's not getting any errors out of it. She's so all round, isn't she, when yeah, she's playing like that? this? Sorry, that's such a good volley drop again from Perry. Three love. It's where she's really improved. Another error from Elwa Lili. Slightly loose cross court from Perry, but she's been rewarded at the moment. <laughs> Amazing how quickly these game balls are being gobbled up. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, ball's Get absolutely in plugged in the back Perry. corner. Perry would have been relieved to have seen that one drop in there. Oh, dear me. <laughs> that is an incredible shot. Gets a little applause from Perry. Three. Don't see many forehand volleys better than this. Yeah, the interaction with the referee never really seems to favor Perry too much, I feel. Well, she's Hello. getting herself wound up here. She just needs please. to chill out a bit. Please. Thank you. It's another beautiful shot from El Walili. I like it from El Walili. No. <laughs> you can't come in. It, it, it's been wiped just not long ago, wasn't oh. it? 11-6. Well, Perry just needs to go off and regroup. She's imploding ever so slightly here. I think she needs to just get to her corner and, and start to breathe. Just breathe. Shame, isn't it? Because Perry's just got distracted here. And out. Seven, three. Six match balls for the Enigma. Down. 
Oh dear, Perry didn't quite four. get into position. It's a shame for it to end like that. One. Perry didn't quite keep a focus like 11, she needed to, especially 11, against someone 11, of the quality 11, of Raneem El Walili. But a different El Walili turned up today compared to yesterday, that's for sure. 38 minutes in total, 3-1 to El Walili. 11-7, 8-11, 11-6, 11-4.